of people are going through relationship problems and are finding it hard to get solutions. In this series, we asked our audience to share their relationship issues with us and receive advice from other people. My husband lost his ring in a bizarre way. I saw him without it and asked why, but the explanation he gave me didn't make sense. He, he said he left it on the system and it might have fallen into the WC. He promised to buy a new one, but he never did. Each time I asked him about it, it turned into a fight. One day he told me, of what importance is a ring that shouldn't let me have peace in this house? I said, oh, it's not that important. I took my ring off right in front of him and never wore it again until he bought a new ring and started wearing it. If your husband doesn't have any past experiences of probably cheating on anything, I don't think losing a ring should be a problem. What did you do about it? Did you try getting him a new ring and he refused? Sometimes we end up destroying our own happiness by fighting over petty things. Why do you make mountain out of a mole? My dear, next time. What you could have done was to offer a new ring and let's see if he wouldn't have won it. Then maybe we can say something was wrong. But since you didn't do that, I don't think you'd have achieved anything. Probably your husband is seeing you in a different light because of what you did and you may have no idea about it. So please, next time, let's learn how to communicate and not take rash decisions. The first time I removed my ring was the last time I did. I was going to a party where I thought there would be nice ladies. So I took off my ring and put it in my pocket. I didn't want anyone to know I was married. After the night, I couldn't get any of the ladies. To make matter worse, my ring fell off my pocket and got missing. I didn't see where it fell. All evening, I was walking around the place, looking, looking at the door, checking some corners to see if my ring was there. I couldn't find it. I had to buy a new one the next day. To me, it was a sign that I needed to be faithful. Since then, I have never removed my ring again. Okay, it might just be a mere coincidence or it could be anything, but thank God he took that as a sign because cheating could lead to a lot of things, even sickness, and, even, and cheating is also expensive, so I'm happy he listened to his conscience. That way we could save him from a lot of dramas and could make his family also happy. So I'm happy he listened to the sign. I lost my job and couldn't find any. I attended several interviews and performed to the best of my ability, but I never had a call back. One day, a friend said, these days when you attend an interview with a ring on, interviewers look at you and all they see is a woman carrying a baby at her back. They don't treat you the same way. So, in my next interview, I removed my ring. I had a good session and I was invited to come again. I went and a guy on the panel approached. From every indication, he wanted a relationship. I was patient with him until I got the job with his help. I reported to work with my ring on and he was shocked. He felt played, but there was nothing he could do. He did absolutely well. He learned how to play the game and he won. Unfortunately, that is what some of we married, uh, some of the issues we, we married women have to deal with and we can't really do anything to change people's minds. You just have to learn how to play the game as they do and find ways and means to win. My husband was a widower when I met him. A year later, when we were getting married, he gave me a ring that has lost its shine. It looked like it had been used before, but because the marriage was more important than the ring, I didn't ask questions. 
we got married and settled in. I asked him about the ring and why it didn't look new and he said, that's the ring my ex-wife wore. I've kept it all this while because I was looking for someone worthy to wear it. For close to a year, I was wearing a dead woman's ring and I didn't know it. I took it off that day and told him to get me a new one. Several months later, he didn't buy the ring, so I bought one for myself. Wow. <laughs> this, this, this is quite a dilemma. How can someone give you a dead woman's ring? And <laughs> this, this is bizarre. Like, you should really ask even more questions. Don't just wear the ring and move on with your life. Ask more questions because the fact that he said he was looking for someone worthy means he's not moved on from his wife. He was looking for a replacement for his wife. And I think you should not just move on with your life because you've bought a ring for yourself. That is not enough. Sit your husband down. Let him explain things to you because it's as if he's still seeing you through his wife's eye or how should i even say like he's seeing you as the wife but you are not you're a whole different person on your own you are not the wife you are not that uh, the woman who died you are a whole human being and he sh he should want you for you of course we are sorry that he lost his wife but you also deserve to be loved for you but not because you are a replacement for another person you he should love you he should want to be with you because he loves you he wants to spend his life with you but not because he's looking for a replacement or a ring bearer